एक आईज मेरा नाम डॉक्टर शेरुन है और आप सबका स्वागत है हमारे इस चैनल में जिसका नाम है नीट बडी वे वी प्रोवाइड यू विद डेली बायोलॉजी एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द चैप्टर्स ऑफ क्लास इलेवंथ और क्लास ट्वेल्थ एन सी बायोलॉजी एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर फ्रॉम विच वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू विद एम सी क्यूज टूडे इज दे ऑन योर स्क्रीन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद एम सी फॉर टूडे Lenticels help in option A. Gaseous exchange in stems option B. Gaseous exchange in leaves option C. Gaseous exchange in roots or option D. Mechanical support. Lenticels help in. The correct answer is option A. That is gaseous exchange in stem. For gaseous exchange in leaves we have stomata and in stems we have lenticels. Question two. Mark the incorrect statement. Statement A. Energy in respiration is released by reduction of C-C bond of substrates. B. ATP is the energy currency of the cells. C. Organic acid can be used as respiratory substrates. Or statement D. Energy of substrate is released in multiple steps, never in single step. mark the incorrect statement of these four statement which one is incorrect and the answer is statement a is incorrect energy in respiration is released by oxidation of cc bond substrates and not by reduction question 3 form in which sucrose enters glycolytic pathway is option a glucose option b fructose option c lactose or option d a and b form in which sucrose enters glycolytic pathway is the correct answer is option d that is it can enter as glucose as well as fructose what is sucrose sucrose is a disaccharide of glucose and fructose so first uh, sucrose breaks down into glucose and fructose and both these monosaccharides can enter into the glycolytic pathway Question four: Total amount of ATP utilized in one cycle of glycolysis is option A, two; option B, four; option C, one; or option D, six. Total amount of ATP utilized in one cycle of glycolysis. What does utilize mean? It gets used up in one cycle of glycolysis. The correct answer is. Two ATPs are utilized in one cycle of glycolysis. So the correct answer is option one. First ATP gets utilized when glucose gets converted to glucose six phosphate, and the second ATP gets utilized when fructose six phosphate gets converted to fructose one six bis phosphate. The name itself reveals it. Glucose getting converted to glucose six phosphate. Phosphate is being added. So ADP gets converted to ADP. Fructose 6 phosphate gets converted to fructose 1 6 bis phosphate means two phosphate groups would be there so again our ATP is used so total of two ATP gets utilized in one cycle of glycolysis question 5 pyruvate is a option a three carbon compound option b four carbon compound option c six carbon compound or option d two carbon compound The correct answer is option A. Pyruvate is a three-carbon compound. An example of four-carbon compound is oxaloacetic acid. Example of six-carbon compound is glucose, and of two-carbon compound is acetyl CoA. Question six: The cofactor utilized by pyruvate dehydrogenase is option A. Magnesium, option B. Manganese, option C. zinc or option d iron cofactor used by pyruvate dehydrogenase is the correct answer is option a magnesium that is mg2 plus is used as cofactor by pyruvate dehydrogenase enzyme question 7 oxidative decarboxylation occurs at option 1 cytoplasm option b matrix of mitochondria option c inner membrane of mitochondria or option d outer membrane of mitochondria oxidative decarboxylation occurs at 
the correct answer is option b that is matrix of mitochondria what is oxidative decarboxylation as the word itself suggests oxidative means oxygen is being utilized d carboxylation d means removal carboxylation means carboxyl group so carbon group is removed so three carbon molecule that is pyruvic acid gets converted into two carbon molecule that is acetyl coa and the enzyme used is pyruvate dehydrogenase what is the location of this reaction the matrix of mitochondria so the glycolytic pathway occurs in cytoplasm glucose gets converted to two molecules of pyruvate these molecules of pyruvate are transported into the mitochondria and in the matrix of the mitochondria the pyruvate gets converted into ox by oxidative decarboxylation into acetyl coa question 8 which of the following is not a four carbon compound oxaloacetic acid malic acid succinic acid or citric acid which of the following is not an example of four carbon compound correct answer is option d citric acid is not an example of four carbon compound it is a six carbon compound that is formed by combination of acetyl coa which is a two carbon compound with oxaloacetic acid in the krebs cycle question 9 how many atp would be produced if six molecules of nadh is passed through electron transport chain option a 18 atp 12 atp 16 atp or 24 atp how many atp would be produced if six molecules of nadh is passed through electron transport chain the correct answer is option a that is 18 atp would be produced one molecule of nadh produces three atp molecules So six NADH produces eight three is eighteen. So eighteen ATP molecules. Question ten. Respiratory quotient of protein is option A zero point nine, option B one, option C one point two, or option D zero point seven. Respiratory quotient of proteins is. The correct answer is option A. That is zero point nine. what is respiratory quotient or rq volume of carbon dioxide evolved divided by volume of oxygen that is consumed is the respiratory quotient for glucose it is 1 and for proteins it is 0.9 question number 11 the energy releasing metabolic process in which the substrate is oxidized without an external electron acceptor is called glycolysis fermentation aerobic respiration or photos respiration the correct answer is option b fermentation question number 12 phase common in aerobic and anaerobic respiration is krebs cycle glycolysis glycogenolysis or ets electron transport system phase common in aerobic and anaerobic respiration is The correct answer is option B. Glycolysis occurs in both aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Question number thirteen. Mark the incorrect statement. Four options are given, of which one is incorrect. You have to find the incorrect statement. Energy in respiration is released by reduction of C-C bond substrate. ATP is the energy currency of cell. Organic acids can be used as respiratory substrate. Energy of a substrate is released in multiple steps, never in a single step. You have to find the incorrect statement. The correct answer is option A is incorrect. Energy in respiration is released by reduction of C-C bond substrates. This is an incorrect statement. It's not reduction. It's oxidation of C-C bond. Question number fourteen. Cytochromes are found in. outer wall of mitochondria cristae of mitochondria lysosomes or matrix of mitochondria cytochromes are found in the correct answer is option b they are found in the cristae of mitochondria question number 15 cyclic photophosphorylation results in formation of atp and nadph atp nadph and oxygen atp and nadph 
So the correct answer is option C. It results in formation of ATP. Cyclic photophosphorylation results in formation of ATP. Question number one. Anaerobic product of fermentation are anaerobic product. Option A. Alcohol and lipoproteins. Option B. Ether and nucleic acid. Option C. Protein and nucleic acid. Option D. Alcohol and lactic acid. Anaerobic products of fermentation are. Correct answer is option D. Alcohol and lactic acid. Question number two. The formation of acetyl-CoA from pyruvic acid is a result of Option A. Reduction Option B. Dehydration Option C. Dephosphorylation or Option D. Decarboxylation Formation of acetyl-CoA from pyruvic acid is the result of its Correct answer is Option D. That is decarboxylation and that's why acetyl-CoA is a 2-carbon compound whereas pyruvic acid is a 3-carbon compound. So, one of the carbon is getting removed, decarboxylation. Question number 3. Respiration is an endothermic process, exothermic process, exolytic process or endergonic process. Respiration is what type of process? The correct answer is option B, exothermic. Heat energy is released during respiration. Question number 4. In fermentation, yeast secretes one of the following enzymes. Option A. Invertase. Option B. Zymase. Option C. Dehydrogenase or option D. Enolase. Which enzyme secreted by yeast is responsible for fermentation? Correct answer is option B. Zymase. Question number 5. The glycolate metabolism occurs in lysosomes, ribosomes, glyoxosomes or peroxisomes. Glycolate metabolism occurs in. The correct answer is option D, peroxisomes. Question number 6. Besides net gain of two ATP molecules in glycolysis, which other molecule are simultaneously formed? FADH2, NADPH2, NADH2 or FAMH2 other than net gain of two ATP molecules in glycolysis which other molecules are simultaneously formed? Correct answer is option C, NADH2. Question number 7. The correct relationship of the values of respiratory quotient is the options are given. Option A. Highest in glucose followed by fat then in organic acid. Highest in organic acid followed by fat then least in glucose. Highest in fat followed by glucose then organic acid. Highest in organic acid followed by glucose and least in fat. The correct relationship of the values of respiratory quotient is. The correct answer is option D that is highest in organic acid followed by glucose then in fat. Question number 8. Which ion plays key role in enzymatic action during oxidative decarboxylation? Ion which plays a role during the oxidative decarboxylation process. Calcium, magnesium, zinc, nickel. The correct answer is option B. Magnesium ion. Question number 9. When a molecule of pyruvate is subjected to anaerobic oxidation and forms lactic acid. There is option A, loss of 3 ATP, option B, loss of 4 ATP, option C, gain of 3 ATP or option D, gain of 4 ATP. Molecule of pyruvate converted to lactic acid via anaerobic oxidation. There is correct answer is option A, loss of 3 ATP. Now, how is that? When pyruvic acid is converted to lactic acid, one molecule of NADH plus H plus gets converted to NAD plus. Now, one molecule of NADH2 is equivalent to 3 ATP. Since one molecule is getting used up in this process, you can say there is a loss of 3 ATP. Question number 10. The tissue of highest respiratory activity is meristems, ground tissue, phloem, mechanical tissue. 
tissue of highest respiratory activity is? Correct answer is option A, meristems. Question number 11. The number of phosphates in AMP is 1, 2, 3 or 4. The correct answer is option A, that is 1. The AMP, M stands for mono, adenosine monophosphate. So, one phosphate is there. Question number 12. The membrane bound enzyme involved in Krebs cycle, maltase, dehydrogenase, fumarase, cis, econitase or succinic dehydrogenase, which of the four enzymes given in the options is membrane bound? Correct answer is option D, succinic dehydrogenase. Question number 13. The correct sequence of electron acceptor in ATP synthesis is cytochrome A, cytochrome A3, cytochrome B or cytochrome C. Option B, cytochrome B followed by C, A, then A3. Option C, cytochrome B followed by C, then A3, A or option D. Cytochrome C, cytochrome B, cytochrome A, cytochrome A3. The correct sequence of electron acceptors is. The correct answer is option B. Cytochrome B followed by cytochrome C, then cytochrome A, which then goes to cytochrome A3. Question number 14. Most of the energy in the cell is liberated by oxidation of carbohydrates when? Pyruvic acid is converted to carbon dioxide and water. Pyruvic acid is converted to acetyl-CoA. Sugar is converted to pyruvate. Glucose is converted to alcohol and carbon dioxide. Most of the energy in the cell is liberated by oxidation of carbohydrates when? The correct answer is option A. When the pyruvic acid is converted to carbon dioxide and water. Question number 15. The last of the terminal cytochromes in respiratory chain is cytochrome B, cytochrome A3, cytochrome A or cytochrome C. Last of the terminal cytochromes in the respiratory chain is? The correct answer is option B that is cytochrome A3. So those are the MCQs for today. I hope you found this video helpful and for tomorrow's MCQ session, we are going to take up the next chapter following the chapter that we took up today. So that would be all for today. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Till then, all the best and keep working hard to like and share this video if you find it helpful. And if you're new out there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.